Hello all, welcome to the second session of the SET slash SET series, right? Uh, let's say we have this question wherein we have been given a function which looks like what is on the board minus 5 divided by 2 minus x whole square minus x plus 2 plus 4 and we have to find the value of x which is greater than 2.5 for which this function becomes undefined. So essentially we have to find the value of x which is greater than 2.5 for which the value of the function or the function becomes undefined. Right? Now, we all know that anything divided by zero is undefined, right? So essentially what the question is asking is that, what are those values of x which make this denominator zero, right? Because once the denominator becomes zero, the function will, will become minus five over zero, which is undefined, right? So essentially we have to put the denominator equal to zero and solve that quadratic, okay? So two minus x, whole square minus x plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 0, right? We expand this using a plus b whole square, right? a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? So we expand this, so we get 4 plus x square plus 2ab. Now b is negative, so it becomes minus 4x. We expand this, so it gets minus x minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 0. If we consolidate the terms, so we get x square minus 5x, 4 plus 4, 8 minus 2 is 6, so plus 6 is 0, right? So essentially we get this quadratic equation, which we have to solve. Uh, clearly, we can use the grouping method, in this case minus 3 and minus 2. So x square minus 3x, minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0, which gives us this. And finally, we get x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0, giving us the two values of x as 3 and 2. So these are the two values of x, 2 and 3, for which this denominator will become 0 and hence the function will become undefined. But since the question is asking for us to give the value greater than 2.5, so our answer will be three. Let's take another example in terms of solving a quadratic equation. We have equation four x square divided by two x minus one is equal to a plus one over two x minus one, and we have to find the value of a, right? So in the first step, obviously, we bring this guy to the left side. So our a becomes, 4x square divided by 2x minus 1 minus 1 because we are moving it to the left side 2x minus 1. The denominators are same so it's a little easier for us. So 4x square minus 1. Now we are going to use the difference of the squares, right? Now the difference of the squares says a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And if you look at the numerator a little more closely, we can write one as one square, right? So we can try to apply the difference of squares here, in which case the numerator becomes two x whole square minus one square divided by two x minus one. And the numerator from the difference of the squares formula becomes 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1. These two terms get cancelled out and hence the value of a comes out to be 2x plus 1. So essentially the learning here is to be able to see that the numerator can be simplified using the difference of squares. Folks, if you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out to us at info.mathleads at gmail.com. See you in the next session.